According to recent statistics, the food service industry has three times as many accidents as the all industry average. Falls and machine injuries account for a large number. But far too many accidents are those little cuts and strains some people just take for granted. People just never stop to think that back strains and sliced fingers and sliced other things can be prevented. They don't have to happen at all. The commercial kitchen is literally filled with ways to cut yourself. Knives are the tools of the trade. And the first rule is to use the right knife for the job. And you don't carve with a boning knife or bone meat with a vegetable knife. For a special job like opening oysters, you use the knife specially designed for that purpose. And you never open cans with a knife, meat cleaver, or anything other than a can opener. The right tool for the job. Knives are safest and work best when they are sharp. A dull knife is harder to cut with, requires more force, is more likely to slip than a sharp one. The butcher's steel should be used in this manner. Notice the safety guard and the way the hands are held away from the body. It pays to check your knives periodically, handles as well as blades. Notice that the knives are kept in their proper place in a drawer or rack. For safety and efficiency, edges should be straight as well as sharp. Now suppose you have the right knife for the job and it's sharp enough, but you have to lay it down for a moment. If you do, Make sure it is left away from the edge of the table and in plain view. A hidden knife is a booby trap. The cutting board is an important safety device and should always be used. It provides a solid base for your work. It also gives the knife something to cut against. A smooth surface, such as the metal tabletop, can cause the knife to slip out of control. In a busy kitchen, accidents often happen when you allow your attention to wander. This man has the right idea. If a knife falls, don't try to catch it. Just get out of its way. Horseplay of any kind is dangerous in a kitchen, but this is just plain suicide. Get involved in arguments or playing games with a knife in your hand. It's as deadly as a loaded gun. A large percentage of those sliced fingers come from unsafe handling of glassware in China. A few simple precautions can prevent a lot of injuries. For example, never pass a broken glass to the dishwasher or to anybody else. A special container for broken glass and glassware should be used. 
It should not be mixed in with garbage and rubbish. Slivers and shards of glass are sharper than knives and harder to see. Don't pass them to someone else. Get rid of them. Make it a rule never to handle broken glass if possible. Clean it up immediately with a pan and broom. The smaller slivers can be picked up with a wet paper towel, which can be discarded. Injuries caused by lifting can also be prevented by a few common sense precautions. Learn to lift properly with your legs, not your back. Stoop, don't bend. Get a good grip, keeping the load close to your body as you stand. Let the legs do the lifting. And don't overdo it. You don't have to prove your strength by doing a job that should take two men. Know your own limitations. Use a cart or dolly for large loads, but don't pile things too high. You need to be able to see over and around the load for safe handling. Safety is often a matter of just taking a few simple precautions or using a little common sense. Or following a few basic rules. It all seems easy enough, but safety is a habit you have to work at every day. With the right attitude and a few simple rules, cuts and strains can be prevented. Yet there's always the worker who thinks it just has to happen, that it's part of the job. The guy who takes chances and depends on luck to see him through. How do we get through to him?